Our Seder now brings us to the first item on our Seder plate, karpas, parsley or celery if you want. These greens remind us of the renewal and joy that spring brings, but we dip them in salt water to represent the tears that the Israelites shed while slaves in Egypt. Karpas is one of the six items on a traditional Seder plate, each of which have a symbolic connection to the holiday of Pesach and the story of the Exodus. However, many people have added new items to the Seder plate to highlight issues relevant to our own day. The most famous, which you may have heard of, is the orange. Rumors say that it was added by Susanna Heschel, daughter of Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel, when a man told her that a woman belongs on the bima as much as an orange belongs on the Seder plate. In actuality, a man told her that gay and lesbian Jews are as incompatible with Judaism as chametz or bread on Passover, so she included a bread crust on her plate. The next year, Susanna Heschel used an orange as a symbol of including people of all sexualities and gender identities in the Jewish community, and participants spit out the seeds as a symbol of rejecting homophobia. Here are a few other potential additions to the Seder plate. A potato can commemorate Operation Solomon, when in 1991, Israel flew Ethiopian Jews to the Holy Land who were fed simple foods like potatoes and rice until they could handle more substantial food. This honors a modern-day exodus, but it reminds us that there's still work to be done in accepting refugees from all over. Fair trade chocolate or coffee beans can help us think about labor issues and supporting companies that make economic decisions based on equality, justice, and sustainable environmental practices. We can add a pine cone for prison reform, for all the prisoners who remain unseen, like the pine nuts within the cone. Some congregations include an acorn on the Seder plate to remind us to acknowledge indigenous land. You can add olives for peace in the Middle East, a piece of wilted lettuce to represent lack of access to healthy fresh food, and the list goes on. But we need a bigger Seder plate to include everything. The story of the Exodus and the Seder plate continue to be relevant and inspire us to think about those in our world who still struggle for freedom in all kinds of different ways. Try to think of an issue that's important to your family this year and think about what you could include on your Seder plate to recognize it. But now, let's take our karpas, which is on everyone's plate, dip it in our salt water, and say our blessing together. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Bore Peri HaAdama. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, ruler of the universe, who creates all kinds of vegetables. <laughs>